viewers out there in YouTube land, this is Morris Man, and thank you for coming to my show, Tell It Like It Is. I'm your host, Morris Man, and my co-host is Joseph Spencer. And, you know, welcome to our next season. Uh, I, we really appreciate the support you're giving us on season one, and season two will not disappoint you because this show is geared towards discussion issues that most people are afraid to discuss, and some people don't even realize they're issues. You know, so that's why this show became or was given birth because we tell it like it is. We've had some people that not, you know, really agree on what we're talking about because they fall into that category of, of the things we talk about. You know, but again, we do this out of love. We're not here to bash anybody, not to be negative. Actually, we're trying to be positive and trying to help younger people because you don't know what you don't know. And there's some people, young folks out there, that don't have any guidance. So, you know, we step in and try to help. And the topic today is this, because we talked about this off air, you know, over the season, say, should we do this uh, episode? And most definitely because people need to hear this, you know, whether they want to or not, they need to hear this. And this topic is basically uh, black folks, we need to change our social habits. And what I mean by that, because people, when I say that, that title, they're like, what you talking about? This is what I'm talking about. And I'm, we're going to try to condense this. We might even have to do a, a part two of this. But I'm going to give you two examples. And this is not to single out anybody or being sensitive to what happened. Because whenever you lose a loved one to gun violence, you know, it's a tragical thing. It's tragic, you know. But a lot of these things that happen to us could be avoided by simply changing our behavior. And some people want to say, well, you know, it's a free country. You can do what you want. Yeah, you can, but you will deal with the consequences, whether they're good or bad. But here are the examples. I was watching the news uh, over the last seven months, and, and it's, it's these two news stories, they're almost identical to each other. Uh, young black woman in her 30s, uh, not married, got several kids at home. She get killed on the way coming home from a party at 2, 30, 2 o'clock in the morning. Now, my first thought about that is, you got kids at home that are babies, I think your hey at the club days are over until your kids are grown or big enough to leave. And then another incident that recently happened, uh, very same similar scenario. Woman had five kids at home, you know, no husband at home watching them, at, out there at the club with her girlfriends, and she got shot uh, at, at a gas station on the way from the club going home. And it's like. Uh, you know, we need to get back to the way things used to be, you know, and I know that's kind of difficult because, you know, we live in different times, but we still need to keep uh, some of these values intact, regardless of that was 20 years ago. It still applies, you know. When you got kids, your first priority are your kids, not chasing some other dude at the club because the dude that you broke up with, now you're going back out to the club to meet another dude like that dude. So it's like, we got to stop this cycle, you know, as far as, uh, you know, things that we have to do. Because again, me and Joe are products of, of old school. You know, when my mom and dad got together before me, they got married, committed to each other, had kids. As opposed to this, I'm hanging out with some guy, and you know, I like him, we get to do our physical thing, baby comes, do go. You know, never married him. You relying on your mother, who shouldn't even be in the picture as far as, now she got to kind of kick, come in and pick up the slack of helping you raise your children. And uh, a lot of people might think, well, initially, why are you picking on the black women? I'm not, because guess what? It's the black guys that put them in their position. So they both partners in crime, you know? So until we, you know, stop this nonsense and, you know, go back to the way of things, how they used to be, or try to make an effort at least, because again, if you're going to have some kids, have them with some people that you think that you're going to be with for a long term. They're going to marry you. You're going to settle down and try to have a family. If it doesn't work, at least you try it, as opposed to the, I'm not even getting married. I'm just screwing these people, having their kids, and then they're no part of these, these kids' lives. That's why most of these young black men are running around behaving like maniacs now because they didn't have a daddy at home to whoop their ass. You know, I had a daddy at home to whoop my ass when I did something wrong. You know, instead of uh, grandma must the enforcer. Grandma must then 90 years old. And you expect her now to raise other kids and be the enforcer. It's, it's ridiculous. What are your thoughts, Joe? Well, that grandmother thing, when I was, I was raised, grandmother and parents were a pivoted part of the household. The young men now, I've had a couple of men in, 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 in my family would look at me and go, oh boy, just get the twat. 
and that, that's been pa passed on. I, now, now these people, these people, Mel's my family wasn't a pivotal part of my family of me because I was much, much, much younger than. But that was the ideological. You know, and if, if for my generation, if you had men in, in my, if I had a man in my family telling me what do you think a lot of these men are telling these young black men, young black men have come to the point because of the movies and books and music as seeing women as a, a, a sport. Yeah. You know, yeah. not you. Get out of there. Yeah. Hit it. Hit it. And quit. Yeah. You know. And, and you know what? I wouldn't even have a problem with that, providing that you keep it, man. Okay. Humans are going to be humans yeah. regardless of what you tell them, but at least don't let a child become, uh, have a child out of this out nonsense. Of, out of that nonsense. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, you know, it's okay. Oh, again, like I said, I can even see that. Okay, I'm just trying to get some, but I'm not going to change this woman's life by loading, up, loading her up with these kids. I'm not going to take care of them. I'm about to disappear. You know, that's my problem because, again, we are human, and we behave like humans. But at least we need to be responsible when we're behaving badly. I think young men suppose. Uh, 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 I've been out here for a while, and 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 when you're a young man, you should you have to take responsibility for your body and her body too. Absolutely. A lot of women Absolutely. not going. A lot of women not going to agree with me. Women get hotter than men do sexually. Yeah. I truly believe that. I didn't. I didn't look down to quite a few women and realize. They were in a completely different zone than I was. And we're the and captains of the vessel. We're the you know, captains. We're, we're, we're responsible. We're taking the lead. Yeah. So therefore, we need to be responsible for ourselves and the females that we're involved when, with. When you have information we have today and, and the equipment that we have today, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to have children out of wedlock. And not out of wedlock, you know, by mistake. You know, it don't make sense to get knocked up by mistake. Not five anymore. times. Not five times. You know, uh, okay, one mistake, two, yeah, but yeah. three, there shouldn't be no three. And again, you know, we have to change this social behavior as far as we think that we can do both at the same time. Once you become a parent, you need to lock it down. Lock it down. You know, it still you, is. I can still go out to the club. I can you, still meet these other guys and bring them around my kids. You, you, and you also have to give an account of uh, movies and books and music are fantasies. You can't live like these pop stars. If they have five or six kids out of wedlock, they got five or six million dollars. They can to, afford it. They can afford yeah. it. Not you. you. You you can't afford to go out. Well, I just go out twice a week, and that's on the weekends. You, you know, should weekend be at home with your kids. you should be at home. Weekends actually two days. If you poor and uneducated, two days is a year out of your life. You gotta, man. <coughs> I don't know what to say about about this about this because I've been watching it for years. Well, again, we have to go back to the, how it used to be. You know, if you're going to be having kids, have them with somebody that you think, you know, that's going to be a long-term partner because I look at it this way, and again, we got to tell it like it is. You know, it's, it's real simple that, you know, when you bog yourself down with all these children, whether you're male or female, uh, it's hard to find a quality person because guess what? A quality person is not going to be interested in you. Right. You know, you're just going to keep getting the same stuff you've been getting, which is some very irresponsible dudes yeah. get coming in and out of your life. I, I had somebody in my life ask me, uh, you mean to tell me you wouldn't be bothered with a woman with children? And I said, no. Especially the ones that had them out of wedlock. Because right. it's kind of different if you meet somebody who was married, had children, and it didn't work out. That's a whole different animal than... You got a woman that got three kids by two different guys. And yeah. These guys are no good. Right. And they're not helping take and, care and, of the children. And, and, that, and that daddy, that, 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 that daddy's baby trauma, I've watched it too much. Yeah. To be in a household, for me to go into a relationship with a woman, and I know she got two different daddy's babies. And I have to deal with these two men trying to walk in, in and the, out their life. Uh, in and out of their yeah. life trying to be more macho than this. This is my kid. I got more. I got more seniority, seniority than you over yeah. my kids. Right. I, I I hit this first. Yeah. I got I had it before you did. Right. I broke this in. You followed up behind me. She crap. Always to be uh, right. more attentive or loving to me. But let right. me just say this in closing, because you know we don't have the luxury of uh, extending this anymore yeah. because of well I ain't gonna get into that. Well, I'm, I'm gonna just close it off by saying this: We as black people have to be more conscious of what we do and what we don't do because again. Uh, this four or five different kid thing by different men, and you still in the party mode with your girlfriends going out to meet the same kind of guy that you just left or who left you, we have to stop that because it's hurting our kids. 
the, I thank God I'm not in the era where or I'm, Me too. I'm not a teenager in this era because the majority of these young black men do not have a father at home that love them and looking after them. And that's why they're behaving badly. It's not a police issue. It ain't the mayor's problem. Because, again, I hate to see this, too. Somebody gets shot, and here come the black people picking it. Oh, we're yeah. handling the police department and the mayor responds. No, the people that's picking it need to look at themselves because they're the part of that problem. Until next time, as always, thanks for watching.